Black Myth Wukong is one of the hottest games out right now and has quickly become one of the most played games on Steam. Do you need a high-end rig in order to experience this game to the fullest? Or is that just a myth? Let's start off by checking out the VRAM usage. Regardless of the resolution, at low quality settings we're using about 5GB of VRAM. Turning up the quality to cinematic, which is their version of Ultra, does increase the VRAM requirements to 7GB at 900p, and escalating up to 8GB at 4K. Overall not too demanding, though that does change a little bit when you enable ray tracing. At 4K the usage bumps up to just under 10GB, and with frame generation enabled that can balloon up to 14GB. So without ray tracing all you need is an 8GB card. Does that mean an 8GB card is enough to play it at ultra quality settings? Probably not. This is a game you'll want to try to hit 60fps with, and the fastest 8GB card, the RTX 4060 Ti, only manages 46.6fps using the cinematic settings at 1080p. The first card able to hit 60fps is the RTX 3090 Ti, a rather high requirement for 1080p. The lowest AMD card to achieve this is the RX 7900 XT, with the fastest card on our list, the RTX 4090, coming in at 99.5 FPS. Bumping it up to 4K does limit the 60 FPS cards even further, with now the lowest entries for each brand being the RTX 4070 Ti for NVIDIA and the RX 7900 XTX for AMD. It's not all bad news for the red team though, since they do have several cards well above 30 FPS that have plenty of VRAM, which would make them good candidates for frame generation. The RTX 4060 Ti 16 GB, while not any faster than the 8 GB model, would also be a great candidate for frame generation. Rounding out the bottom are the entry level cards, as well as the Intel cards, and last generation's RX 5700 XT, none of which offer a playable experience at these settings. Trying these cards at 4K is really just adding insult to injury, but we tested it anyway, and really you need a pretty powerful card just to hit 30 FPS, such as the RX 6900 XT and the RX 7800 XT. The RTX 3080 is also hanging in there at 33.2 FPS, though if you are looking to play the game at these settings above 60 FPS there really is only one option, the RTX 4090 at 65.1 FPS. And for everybody else you'll probably want to enable frame generation if you can, and maybe even lower down some settings. 